Ralston's Field Lab is a portable, handheld, laboratory-grade pressure reference device for use in the field or in the lab. Now, in this video, we'll show you how Field Lab can save you time when calibrating a gauge or other device under test while creating a digital record of that test. You'll have your Field Lab reference and your DUT connected to the same pressure supply. Of course, we recommend a Ralston pneumatic hand pump or our hydraulic hand pump or nitro pack for higher pressure devices. Now I'll demonstrate a calibration test of this quarter percent full-scale accuracy 30 PSI analog gauge. Previously we've used the Field Lab desktop software to create and load the calibration test mode with the appropriate number of test points and permissible error. And be sure to watch our test mode video to see how it's done. Now for this demonstration we've created a 30 PSI calibration test for this specific type of gauge. Now before we start our test, we'll zero the field lab by pressing the green zero button until we see the confirmation message on screen. Next, we'll press the menu button on the field lab to choose the test mode that we created for this type of DUT. In this case, it's the 30 PSI Cal test. And keep in mind that any test mode you create can be shared across your field labs or with others. So once you select your test mode, you'll see a preview of the number of test points that will be run and the permissible error we expect. Now I'll activate this test mode and start the test. I'm prompted on screen for the first test point, in this case, zero PSI. As we can see, our first test point is zero and with no pressure applied, our needle is right on the zero hash mark. And since no pressure has been applied yet, the field lab also reads zero. So we'll press log, then accept. And the data point is logged. And the field lab moves on to prompt you for the next test point, in this case, 6 PSI. Now we'll apply pressure to achieve a reading of our cardinal point on the device under test. And then we'll precisely dial it in with the vernier so our needle falls exactly on 6 PSI. And since it does fall on a major hash mark, it makes the setting much easier and more accurate. Now you may have noticed we're setting the DUT to the cardinal point and reading the actual pressure on the field lab, which is the reverse of a typical test. This provides greater accuracy since you're not guessing which hash mark the needle is closest to on analog gauges and then estimating hundreds or even tenths, which could mean the difference between a passed or failed DUT. So now we press log and you see a summary of the test point. Notice that both the reference and DUT readings are logged along with the computed deviation. We can also see if this point was outside the permissible error for this device. You can now accept this reading or you can redo the test point. But if you're confident in the reading, then you can just press accept and the actual value will be safe for that test point. We then do this up and down the test point scale with each reading being saved at each test point. When you're finished with the test, you can immediately view the data set on screen. This gives you an easy visual verification of pass fail points. And if the device has failed, you can make adjustments to the gauge, run the test again, and log the results. The beauty of it is no log sheets, no handwritten test points, no paperwork, and accurate results with 100% digital traceability. Later, you can connect Field Lab to a PC, download the data sets, and electronically share the files or export them for inclusion and calibration certificates. Field Lab gives you laboratory grade results in the field with fast and reliable data logging. And best of all, it's from Ralston Instruments. Be sure to check out our other Field Lab videos. And for more information, go to RalstonFieldLab.com or our company website at RalstonInst.com. <laughs>